Welcome to Crafting with Louisa. Um, today um, I've got a little mini milk carton box with a lovely triangle shape in there. Um, and this came about because I've got loads and loads and loads of 6x6 six six, um, DSP. So I'm going to have a string of projects that are using 6x6 um, six six, um, DSP. And this is our subtle um, collection DSP and I've used petal pink for this one and I'm going to bring in Highland Heather so that's another sheet that you get in um, the colour so yeah really cute little box so grab your score and I'm going to go stripey so I've got the stripes going that way so I'm going to score at one, two and seven eighths, three and seven eighths, and five and three quarters. And for some reason, I don't know why, um, I've done this with a skinny tab, and this is the same as um, the wood grain. DSP box I did except that I've made it a milk carton one so you're going to turn that that way and you are going to score it at one four and then you can turn that over actually and score it at five and a half okay and then you're going to put um, where you've got the two score lines together, where you've got those two score lines um, together, you're going to put it back in there and you're just going to part score to the first score. So you're going to part score to the, just down to the first score line at half an inch and three and three eighths, just down to that first score line. Okay, because we're actually going to join some score lines up. So I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm going to. So you've got um, a score line there. And a score line there. This is going to look fun on the camera, isn't it? <laughs> Should have done it on the reverse. So hopefully. You will see that score line. Oh, let me zoom in. So, hopefully, you'll see that I've got a score line there and then into the square there. So, I'm going to score from there to there, there to there, and then there to there, and there to there on the diagonal. So, I've got a steel rule. And now I've marked all that, I can't see a thing. <laughs> it will kind of make sense um, to you when I've done it. Oh, and that's the door. Okay, so sorry about that, that was the door going. So I'm just doing these diagonal lines and I will um, hover it and make sure you can see it. Gosh, even I'm struggling to see these lines. That's there and that's there and the same on the other one. So we are going to fold on all these lines and burnish them. Don't go mad burnish them because it is paper. So it doesn't need too much. Although it is tough paper. As always, some stamping up. You don't expect anything left. I'm struggling to see the 
peep. See the score lines on this. I think it's because it's quite white. So when you've got the two score lines together where you've done the diagonal, you're going to score the lower one that way and then this one nearer the top you're going to bring towards you. That just gives it a nice crease. And then you're going to get rid of that little um, rectangle. On this corner, oops, conquering my paper. So, not much cutting here. And just wedge it up top. Okay. So, you got rid of that triangle, and then, oh gosh, I can't see that side at all. Um, and then you're going to cut up these. And then for speed, I'm just going to use snail, um, which is fine for paper to paper, but probably not for a <laughs> box project. Oops. So you're going to find your back. So my back's there, so I'm going to fold in two sides, oops, the back, and then I'm going to put glue on the front one. Okay, and then I'm going to take care of the um, triangle. So you're going to push with your middle finger in or push with your index finger in and then it will just create that lovely and I've got quite it's quite a tall one just because I like that and then a hole punch is it on that long tail there it looks quite elegant Right, so I have got the Time for Tea um, set, which I love and I've not used in ages. So I've got a really. <laughs> so I'm using that one and I'm using uh, From Me to You, which I've lost the stamp block. It's here. Huh. And. Highland Heather ink um, because obviously I want it to go with my um, paper. So, ooh. and Heather ink. And then one and a quarter inch punch. Ooh. line that up. I have to say I have become a real fan of punches. So convenient. And then I've got the uh, one and three quarter inch punch, scrap of um, Highland Heather, punch it after that. Okay, and then the other one um, I sponged a bit, um, but I think, yeah, that would be okay because it's quite a lot of white on that one. Oops. So I stuck that down straight and then I put the two layers together on. Um, Stamping dimensions. A couple of these. Oops. And then stick that in the middle. Oops. 
can be straight. And then, oops, oh, the lid's come off it. <laughs> um, and then I used gorgeous elements, blossom elements, sorry. Um, we don't have a purple, but I think that little pop of yellow would be gorgeous. And I can't remember what colour these are. So mini glue dot, sorry, on the back. Just pop that there. So those are the two uh, boxes. I hope you enjoyed that and that you will give them a go and start using up all that 6x6 that you've hoarded. <laughs> Gorgeous little boxes, um, great for little treats. Um, I've been Louise and I'll see you next time. Bye!